Good morning, everyone, and welcome on one of these weekends when our city is somewhat quiet and the contemplativeness of it, I don't know about the rest of you, seemed present appropriately. Welcome everyone here in person. Welcome those of us who are joining from the live stream, <clears throat> from wherever home or this hour finds you. We're so grateful to everybody who is and has made this Sunday possible. To our musicians, thank you for what you are offering and what we will hear from you later today, choir up in the choir loft, to my co-worship leaders here in the chancel, to those who, from our facilities team, Thomas is in the back as I speak, who prepared the building. Thank you for making our space ready for us. For our lay leaders who prepared for the morning too with both our ushers, our fantastic programming, to everybody. And welcome, especially if you're a visitor, welcome this morning to First Unitarian Universal Society of San Francisco. <clears throat> Whether you're from out of town or you live here, I hope you'll notice in the order of service, which I hope you have. If not, they're right in the back of the sanctuary so you can go get one. Um, and I'm sorry for my voice this morning. It sounds like I was at a smoky jazz club last night, which sadly was not the case. Um, but there is order, an order of worship in the back for each of you, and it has details if you're a visitor that might explain some things you want to know, um, as well as all the programming for the upcoming week, and of course, what's going to happen this hour that we're together. And if you want to, there are connection forms, and you can fill them out online, too, if you're joining us online, that allow you to get the electronic newsletter each week on Wednesday, and a quick link to service if you're going to miss it, you can, so you can get the live stream link quickly. Um, we are thrilled to have you here. Today, we are starting off worship with some hard news of a goodbye. Some of you may already know if you read the email, among all of the emails I'm sure you got, that we sent out this last Friday from church at noon. The email announced, sadly, that um, Kate Steinberg, who joined us in last August as our ministerial intern, is not going to be continuing in that role. And so this is Kate's last Sunday with us. There's going to be some time at coffee hour for people to say goodbye and to offer your well wishes. And there will be special treats there to um, to you know, celebrate with the moment, um, and also time for folks who want to join, if you can, leaving church at 10 a.m. on Thursday to go for a walk um, through the Tenderloin, if you want to join Kate for that time together. And also, you can drop off cards or well wishes of any kind to the church, and we'll make sure that all of them get to Kate. So we want to make sure she gets all of our blessings for the next chapter of work and ministry and life. And in that spirit, we light an extra candle this morning for Kate. For our gratitude for her time with us here. And in the spirit of endings with all of their layers. And for the thresholds they represent too to what is yet to unfold. In all of that, we begin our worship together. Oh, Mari and Kate. <laughs> we light our chalice, a symbol of Unitarian Universalism, calling into this space all of us who are part of this community, near, near or far, wherever this hour finds you, know you are with us too. For those of you at home, feel free, free to light your own candle or chalice if you have one. Please say with me the words of our chalice lighting printed in your order of service. We light this chalice for the light of truth, the warmth of love, and the fire of commitment. 
We light this symbol of our faith as we gather together.